ESCOM has dismissed its chief uh, procurement officer, Tsoli Chitangano. Uh, he was suspended back in February, I'm sure you remember, following allegations of misconduct and non-performance. Uh, he's disputed the claim and instead accused ESCOM CEO Andre de Reiter of being racist. Well, let's uh, find out how the utility is handling this latest change in its higher management. ESCOM spokesperson Sikunati Manchancha joining us. Sikunati, morning to you. Always a pleasure uh, in speaking to you. So a chapter for ESCOM uh, comes to an end now. Now, is this all over, or is ESCOM expecting uh, some recourse uh, from the now outgoing procurement officer? That really is up to Mr. Chitangano to make now a decision. ESCOM's internal processes with regards to his case have come to an end. He was uh, dismissed with immediate effect yesterday, and he obviously has 30 days to either approach uh, uh, to, to, to lodge an appeal uh, or to, to approach the, the uh, CCMA, and that is a decision entirely up to him. Uh, when it comes to uh, the advancing of the interests, I understand, uh, by Mr. Shitangano of Econ Oil, uh, did this in any way uh, put the finances of ESCOM at risk at all? Was there any money lost? Yes, absolutely. There, there, there are transactions that should never have happened where uh, Econ Oil was awarded contracts uh, uh, to the value of around 8 billion rand when, it already, uh, they, when already there were preliminary findings of corruption uh, against uh, Econ Oil that were known uh, coming from forensic reports uh, compiled by Bowman's, uh, the law firm at ESCOM's insistence. Mm. And, and uh, the ESCOM entered into these contracts uh, despite the, the, the knowledge of the criminal activities there. And this has cost, of course, the taxpayer in the people of South Africa uh, around 8 billion rand for, 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 for value that is really questionable, uh, whether it was delivered or not. So what happens to that 8 billion rand that's been lost to uh, South African taxpayers? Is it coming back? There are, uh, there are court cases where ESCOM, uh, sorry, that is a contract worth 8 billion rand that I'm talking about, not that the entire 8 billion rand was worth. Mm. Uh, the, the, ESCOM has launched uh, uh, court cases to recover monies uh, from Econ Oil and to set aside and, and declare null and void a contract that was entered uh, with, with Econ Oil. Uh, ESCOM is claiming uh, more than one billion rand in overpayments uh, that, that, that it did make illegally so to, ESC, uh, to, to, uh, to Econ Oil over the past, uh, since around 2016. So the, there are issues there at court that, that we, we, we are trying to resolve. But uh, with regards to the disciplinary uh, conduct of Mr. Chitangano, it did come to an end with the termination yesterday. Let's, uh, before I say goodbye to you uh, this morning, Sikunati, let's just address the issue uh, of the uh, counter accusation uh, that uh, Mr. Uh, Shitangano made against the ESCOM CEO, that being Andre de Reiter, uh, of course, of being racist. Uh, what came out of that uh, in this investigation? I'm sure it was brought up. So there are two investigations, or there were two processes. The first was what has just been concluded, the disciplinary uh, conduct or, or process into Mr. Chitangano. That's, that, that's now done, as we have said. There was the board of ESCOM had asked advocate Ishmael Simenya to investigate whether there is any basis to these allegations by Mr. Chitangano. Advocate Semenya will finish his report to the board as soon as he is done, and I understand that is imminent. So there, there is no outcome there. We will shortly be getting it, and the people of South Africa will again uh, be informed of the of the of the outcome uh, or findings of the learned advocate, and of course uh, action then will will then be taken as appropriate.